Hi friends. Welcome back. You are watching Success Stimulator. In this video, we are going to discuss about Pareto principles. Experts are saying 95% of problem will get solved when the problem is clearly defined. Pareto principle help us to identify the problem in any situation. We all know that. Pareto principles would also be known as 80-20 rule. Okay, let's see some high-level examples of Pareto principles, before we get into the details. This will help us to understand why we are saying 80-20 rule. The first example is Decisions In an organization, 80% of decisions are made by 20% of people, people like chairperson or board members used to take maximum decision. Even in a family, elders take 80% of decision. Whereas youngsters only made 20% decision. We'll see another example. In public speech or any presentation, 80% of impact are made by 20% of your content. Slides like growth trend, revenue for the year get attracted by most of the people. Those 20% of the content would be a discussion point even after the presentation among the audience. We'll take counseling as in another example. In a counseling profession, 20% of people take 80% of time. 20% of people always speak more and they always consume more time than the other 80% of crowd. In a quality measurement, 80% of defects contributed by 20% people. If you attack those 20% of people, output will be much better in quality. Another classical example from our real life is, if you watch closely on your friend's circle, you always spend 80% of your time with your 20% of friends. Yes, it's true. Okay, other important factor is. At time the percent may vary, like 75 and 25 or 90 and 10, however the rule remains same, meaning, small percent always have a big impact in most of the cases. This is very broad classification of Pareto principles. Now, we'll get into the details. We are going to discuss on the following points. What is the aim of Pareto Principles? Why do we need Pareto Diagram? What is Pareto Diagram? When to use a Pareto Diagram? And the last one is Benefits of Pareto? Let's start to see one after other topics. What is the aim of Pareto Principles? Aim of Pareto Principles is to identify areas of focus in process improvement. It helped to analyzing data about the frequency of problems or causes in a process. Pareto principles is also mainly focus on managing your time better and make it more productive. Next topic is. Why do we need Pareto diagram? When there are many problems. Or causes in the given situation. And you want to focus on the most significant. Pareto diagram would help you to identify most significant problem. It will support you to come out of the problem sooner than the natural. What is a Pareto diagram? Bar chart arranged in descending order of height. Bars on left, relatively important than those in right. It separates. Vital few from. Trivial many. 80% of trouble comes from 20% of the problems named after Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto. When to use a Pareto diagram? I think, by now you can able to answer this question. When we have list of problems. And to understand which problem is significant and which need to be prioritized. To break big problems into smaller problems. To prioritize high impact issues. Allows better use of limited resources. These are the sum of the areas where Pareto diagram help us to identify. The last one is. Benefits of Pareto diagram. Benefits of Pareto diagram identifies major few problems. Improves team performance faster than the common approach. It improves the efficiency of the process, person or a team. Alright, I hope you have got some fair idea about Pareto principles. We shall discuss in detail regarding how to create a Pareto chart in our upcoming videos. Please share your comments and suggestion for improvement. Also, share it with your friends, family members and knowledge seekers. At last, thanks for watching.